God morning, allihopa. I'm Alexandra. This is Theo. This is Miranda. Tyrion is still sleeping. Michael's at his job. And I know the lighting isn't the best. And I know this is a weird intro. But I am in shock. And I thought that I would film it. Um, this is the third night. Are you done? This is the third night in a row. Oh, you want to be on camera? Um, that Miranda has slept through the night. And I don't mean like slept and then woken up and fed a few times and gone back to sleep. Because she's done that for a few weeks now. But she, this night, I put her to bed around 9. Or she, like, she fell asleep in my arms and I put her over into the crib around 9. And I just now had to wake her at 6 in the morning. So that we, like, get up on time. That's insane to me. And I've woken up several times and had to check that she's still alive because I just got super worried because she wasn't waking up. This is so weird. Mama. Mama. What? I just turned the light on so that I could film and Miranda was looking at Theo before but then when I turned the light on she quickly closed her eyes and she's still closing her eyes because I think she doesn't like the light and Tyrion thinks that I should or Theo thinks that I should turn it back off because she wants her to look at it and now she's looking at you because you're making so much noise that she, she can't help it he likes looking at you. Cute boy. Blueberry stained shirt boy. Tyrion's getting all his rain gear on to get ready to go outside and play for a bit before we go to school because we're kind of early today. And this little one is so tired that he act she actually fell asleep <sighs> on my shoulder. She likes being on my shoulder. She's my little parrot. And Tyrion's, or hmm, so many names, Theo's already outside playing. He is digging in the sand, I think. <laughs> They're having fun. And we're so early. I mean, we don't actually have to leave for another 30 minutes or so. <laughs> um, but I guess I'm going to put her in the stroller and just kind of walk around and watch the kids play. And then we'll go to preschool. So in the last vlog I said that I had started pumping again and I was going to explain why and then I never really explained it in that vlog. So let's do that now. So here is some milk from my first three pumping sessions yesterday and this morning. So I've got this little bag and it says today's date, which doesn't really matter if you see it, but it does. Um, and I'm going to attempt to pour this into the bag while holding Miranda. We will see how that goes. So the reason that I am pumping again, calm down Curly, is that I talked to the dentist office the other day and we booked an appointment for my dental surgery. I'm actually going under and everything so we need some milk for her to, to have in a bottle when I'm having the surgery and I also don't know if we're gonna have to like if I have to not feed her for a while afterwards if I'm taking painkillers and stuff and for anyone who's been watching since like I think it was February um, you already know um, that I went to the dentist then and the reason I didn't do what I'm gonna do now back then was because I was pregnant and I mean you don't want to sedate someone if you don't absolutely have to when when you're pregnant so we had to wait, but now it's gonna happen. It's gonna be expensive and it's not gonna be fun recovery because they are taking one teeth, one teeth, one tooth out. I don't know what they're called in English. The, the teeth, wisdom teeth? Are they called wisdom teeth in English too? I think they are. Anyway, I have a wisdom tooth. I all, almost just dropped the entire bag of milk um, on the floor. That would have made me start crying. But I didn't, so I'm not gonna cry. Um, I have one wisdom tooth that is broken that they're gonna take out. And then I also have, I think, five cavities that they're gonna fix. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be painful afterwards, I'm sure, but it's gonna be worth it. And I just need my mouth to kind of be back to square one so that I can start 
I mean, I'm taking care of it now too, but it's kind of too late because I didn't do anything. I didn't go to the dentist or anything for 15 years or something. So in that time I got all the cavities and stuff and now I just need it to be, yeah, I need kind of a blank slate and then to go forward from there, hopefully taking care of my mouth better. Anyway, I now have about 180 milliliters in this bag. Come on camera. There we go. Um, and I'm just gonna keep pumping for a few weeks. We've got like a month and a half before the surgery. So I'm gonna make sure that I have more than enough milk in the freezer and uh, so that we're ready for the surgery. Anyway, that was a lot of rambling for not a lot of payoff, I guess. So now I'm gonna go and see if this little girl can sleep because I think she's really tired. She just is kind of refusing sleep, which I mean, she slept a lot during the night, so I can't really blame her. But at the same time, I think she's tired, so I think she needs to sleep. Is that right? Or are you just gonna look at all the fruits and everything fun and colorful? You just wanna look at the colorful stuff? Yeah. And at the camera. You like looking at the camera, don't you? You're such a good little vlogger, baby. Yeah. Can you set that on foot then? Theo's showing off his new skills. Miranda is intently watching. Försök igen. You're insane. Försök igen. Bra. Så. Good job. Found a playground. <laughs> Whee! Mm -hmm. I told him he can go down once and then we'll go home to our playground, but hmm, two year olds. Good morning allihopa, an update on Miranda's sleep. Um, last night she slept through her like midnight feeding as well, but she did not wait until I woke her up, which is fine with me. She woke up around four and I fed her and then I fell asleep with her in my arms. And then we woke up around six when Theo came inside or came into our room to wake us up. So yeah, we're still doing good on sleep. She's right here. She's really tired right now. So we'll see if maybe she can take a nap. Most days she will take a nap in the stroller when we go for the school run, which is ideal. So we'll see if she does it today because she's really tired. The boys, however, for whatever reason are sitting in the dark living room. You're not going to be able to see them, but they're in there in the dark and they are just refusing to come here and get dressed. So I told them, I guess I'm just gonna leave with Miranda then. And hopefully they don't call my bluff because then things are gonna get tough. <laughs> so yeah, that's what's going on this morning. I have the cutest kids. Theo all of a sudden said, walk, walk, but in Swedish. That means that he wants to get down and walk. And then when he was down, he said, hand, hand. <laughs> he really wanted to hold Tyrion's hand. And we're coming up on a place where we, um, where Tyrion usually walks through a tiny little piece of forest or woods. Um, and we walk kind of on the pavement beside it. And Theo said today that he wants to walk with Tyrion in the woods. So I'm gonna try it and see how it goes. <sighs> Come on, focus on those cute kids. 
Those are some cute kids. And Miranda for now is sleeping in the stroller, but we'll see for how long that lasts. I heard Tyrion say to Theo that if he sees a snake, he needs to stomp the ground to make the snake go away. And then Theo was stomping and stomping and stomping. And now I can't quite see them, but I know they're close. Now I can see them. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. And they're growing up. I need another baby. Oida. Good. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to hold my tears in. I'm watching a movie. It's about Astrid Lindgren, um, who wrote the Pippi Longstocking books and a lot of other books. Um, it's about her when she was young and she actually had a baby when he, she was 16 or 17. And right now in the movie, she has to leave that baby with a foster mom, like a newborn, leaving him with a foster mom um, in Denmark because no one in the village where she was like born where she lived in Sweden um, could know that she had had a baby and just sitting here with my own baby and you know hormones still probably being pretty um, like up and down in my body I'm just ugh, just the thought of having to leave your baby when they're newborn and crying and you don't have a choice it's just it's horrible I'm gonna keep watching the movie and hopefully things get better soon for her but yeah it's just uh, that definitely hit a nerve for me I'm giving him applause, I just can't really do it loudly with the camera. He just came up with his own song. He doesn't sing often, he loves listening to music and he loves when I sing to him. I'm gonna hold the camera here so it doesn't get too wet because it's raining. Um, but right now he just, he told me to sing a song about a banana because he says banana like blam, <laughs> I don't know why. Um, and I said, I don't know any songs about bananas. And he said, me sing banana. And then he just started singing. Wow! Also, we are using our weather cover for the Ergo Baby for the first time. Sorry, I can barely see you. Um, so this is what it looks like. And it's supposed to keep Miranda warm and cozy and also dry when it's raining like this. So we're getting to use all of its um, features today, I guess. Today we are trying a new vegetarian um, casserole, I guess. I'm sure I've mentioned before our struggles trying to eat more vegetarian food for the environment and for our bodies and everything. It's just a hard thing for us. And I say us because I can't blame the kids. I don't like vegetarian food. I like it, but I always feel like there's something missing because I'm just so used to having chicken or meat or fish or something. So we're trying new things and we'll see. Today it's a, let's see what it's called, can't even remember the name of it, it's a garbanzo curry. I have no idea where that comes from, but it looks really good in the picture, so hopefully it is good. Doesn't that just look so yummy? And I have my usual little sidekick with me because she does not want to be anywhere else right now. And she even looks sad just being with me, so... Are you tired or what's wrong? 
tiny. Oh, is there a camera? That made you perk up right away. <laughs> Cutie. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, is it just me or <laughs> are her eyes changing colors? Hmm. So like all of my babies, Miranda was born with blue eyes, which as far as I read is typical for Caucasian babies at least. And I've always said, that I wish at least one of my kids could have brown eyes like Michael because I mean I think my blue eyes are boring and he thinks his brown eyes are boring but I just it would be fun to have um, both variations in our kids I guess you could say and I was just like staring into her eyes just now because she's just being so cute and just wanting to be in my arms and I don't know I feel like they're not as blue anymore am I just is this just wishful thinking I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see, but either way, she's real cute. And right now, she is sucking that pacifier so well. Still trying to coerce her to take a pacifier or a binky. That's what I've decided to start calling it because I think it sounds cuter. Um, she's not really a binky baby, but I think she's starting to understand the appeal. At least right now. You like that binky? Someone's starting to be a bit rough on purpose. I don't know if you saw, but he kind of just Hi. looked up at me and tried to like, not Hi. hit her, but kind of push her. Hi. Um, so, do can you go? No. Are you trying to turn around? You're a silly girl. I'm kind of helping her. But yeah, hi, good morning or good, good midday. <laughs> I'm just trying to get some photos of Miranda to um, put on her, on the invites for her name giving party thing. We don't do baptisms is that what it's called because uh, we're not religious but we do have a little party for our kids just to kind of celebrate them and celebrate their name and everything um, and yeah I'm trying to get some pictures for the invites so I didn't film anything for the vlog yesterday I am quite a bit out of sorts and I just didn't feel like it yesterday um, this morning I actually had like the worst morning that I've had in a long time I started bawling um, because I was trying to get the dang like little standing rolling board off the stroller that Theo stands on. I was trying to get it off to put his 
seat on instead and I couldn't do it and I just started crying like like crazy crying like crying my eyes out eyes crying my eyes out is that the expression I think so um the boys were busy doing other things in another room luckily but it was just pretty hard and obviously the main or like the stroller isn't the problem <laughs> that's not what I was crying really um, I'm just feeling like everything's a bit overwhelming right now I'm doing better now I left the kids at school and preschool or the boys I keep ah. saying kids but I have one kid at home with me but I left the boys at school and preschool you're not happy anymore um, and then we've just been hanging out at home as per usual